G'day guys, Brett Thompson here. How are you going? Welcome to this webinar. Well, it's actually a webinar replay. Uh, the reason why you're not going to be listening to the, to the first one, we had some technical difficulties, so I thought, hey, I'm just going to dive in and do it all again just for you. There'll be no interaction. It'll be a lot shorter. I'm trying to, going to try and keep it in 45 minutes. It's going to be short, sharp, and punchy and full of content. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I, uh, in Australia, I'm known as one of the highest paid in demand copywriters, which is Quite an amazing story considering I went all through school, didn't really read a book, but I started my own business in my um, early 30s. Um, and then uh, in my first year of business, I was pretty much failed because I, I just had a, a dream and a passion and I didn't know anything about marketing. But I'd, I'd, I'd learned very quickly after my first year of business, I made a dismal $16,000, you know, raising um, three three boys at, my, at that time was was pretty tough, right? So I had to learn marketing, and, and from that I, I understood the importance of copywriting, and I dove into that. Um, and then within twelve months, I'd made two hundred thousand dollars, and over the last seven or eight years, I made two hundred twenty million dollars for myself and my clients through emotion direct response copywriting. Uh, and now, right now, that my I live, breathe, eat, and sleep marketing funnels, and and a big part of that is to come up with your irresistible lead magnet. What's a lead magnet? The lead magnet is just the, your, your front-end offer to bring people in uh, to, into your... To, um, it's kind of like a baby step to, to in, introduce them into your, your whole big picture and your service. Okay, so I'm sure you already know what a lead magnet is, otherwise you wouldn't be here, so I'm going to dive straight into it. Okay, so this quick session outline, I'm going to go through the 10 best converting lead magnets um, from last year and, and this year. Because uh, being a, a marketing nerd, I keep an eye on everything that's going on. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about nailing your message for best conversions. Because believe it or not, um, you don't have a traffic problem. It's generally if you have, it's a it's a conversion problem. So I'm going to give you from a from a, a high level copywriter what what you have to do to get the best conversions. Because once you get your your lead magnets and your website's converting, then you can just throw. Um, endless traffic to it, give or take. Okay. Next thing I'm going to talk about is after that is the five favorite tools uh, for quick product creation. Okay. So I'm going to I want you to really open your eyes up to the concept, and that is to get as many lead mag lead, lead magnets out into the market as possible. You know, don't wait for perfection. The other thing I'm going to uh, my intention for this webinar is number one to give you solid takeaway info. That's the that's the most important part. But another thing I want to do at the end of it is is show you how to implement. Okay. So I'm not going to hide the fact I'm not there's nothing to sell here at all but uh, I know through my own myself and through my own co when I coach clients and things like that that um, you can give everyone a great strategy and great idea but when it comes to implement it's a, it's a, a different thing so myself my beautiful partner Lanika Cruz we join forces um, and she, she's a best-selling author in her, in her own right to do with um, mind hacks and personal development well we joined forces and created a, um, an implementation workshop to help people come into one spot and get their marketing done in a day instead of trying to fit it into life, right? We all know. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that right at the end just to give you a tool of how to do that. Again, nothing to buy. So I'm just going to, um, because the big picture of what we do is I help people with uh, a marketing, or we help people with marketing funnels. So all the way through. So this is what we're going to talk about today is step one, which is your lead magnet, okay? So... Um, again, this is the concept I want you to really un understand and embrace. The more lead magnets you have, the faster you'll grow your list and the more money you'll make. Okay, so if uh, here's a, a very common problem I see coaching clients have number one is their list is too small, number two is that their marketing is outdated. All right, number three, they're um, concerned what others think. Now, what I mean by that is a lot of people, if, if they are the, if you are the face of your business and, and you might have a a blockage to put stuff out there because you might be worried about being judged what your competitors think and, and all that kind of stuff. So they're very common problems and that's, this is what we um, overcome in our workshops. Um, other one is you don't know what people want. You have a guess or you, you, you assume what people want and you put something out there um, and it, it just doesn't convert. The other one is a poor marketing system or a funnel. You don't have a funnel. So it's cool to have a, a lead ma magnet out there and, and it might convert, but if you don't have a, a very quick automated um, upsell or um, or system that can convert them into going from prospects to clients, then you can actually waste a lot of time, a lot of money. Okay, so um, but the real problem is um, from all that is is two things: lack of clarity and confidence. Clarity and confidence. Clarity in, in knowing what to do next with your marketing. There's so many options out there, and also confidence to do it right. So once you once you nail clarity and confidence. 
you'll be growing your list every single day, and that's where the money is. Because once once you have uh, a, a great list, I mean, I know a number of years ago uh, we took my my boys over to, on a on a cruise all around Europe and to America, um, and the whole time because of a list we had to launch and um, and was able to to fund that lifestyle. And and even a few a few Christmases ago, because of my list, I did a a small little promotion of a product at fifty percent off and made twenty thousand dollars just before Christmas, right? And I don't tell you that to impress you at all, right? That's there's guys who do, you know, six figures in a, in a weekend because of their list. So that's that's the importance of having a good lead magnet and a, and a complete system that follows that up, right? Uh, also, putting good lead magnets out there will give you a lot of authority, respect, and recognition. Okay, people know about you and and they're at the forefront. They're at the forefront of your mind, um, and also. Um, It'll give you leverage on how to have more freedom, and that's 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 the key thing as well. So, again, like I said, the lifestyle. Once you have a big list, um, and uh, you know, being f- fueled by lead magnets out in the market, it'll give you freedom and more choices to do do what you need to do. So let's dive straight into it. I told you it's going to be fast paced, right? Because I want to try and fit this into forty five minutes. Um, okay, so the first the countdown from ten. And in no particular order, I'm going to go through the 10 best lead magnets that I've um, noticed in the last 12 months. Number one is a 60-second offer, okay? I first saw this, um, I, I noticed this in the marketplace for a, a little while. Then the first person I saw teach this was Ryan Dyson and Perry Belcher when I was over in San Diego with them. Um, and that is, a, um, a lot of people have a, a time poor at the moment and they they, um, they haven't got a lot of time to, to, to go through a 150-page Report or or ebook. Okay, so if you can solve a specific problem in sixty seconds, people will opt in for that, and we're getting um, a lot more better conversions with our clients offering um, a, a sixty second offer. For, I'll give you an example. I did a lead magnet, which was two best way to convert um, to boost your conversions in twenty four hours. Okay, now I can tell you that in sixty seconds, right? And the the reason why people opted in for that because they thought great, it's only it's very short short answer. And it sets you up to be able to sell something else afterwards, okay? Because because the next part, which was um, was an opportunity to buy something, which talked about the ten best things that uh, to boost conversions. Okay, so that's just one example. The next the next thing I saw a lot of people do, which converted really well, is webinars. Webinars are fantastic. Um, one of the main reasons that's a really cool th- cool thing with we- uh, using webinars is that. You have an opportunity to sell if you want, um, and you, you, but the thing with the webinar, you've got to make it very specific. Try not to be too general. I mean, with this webinar, I, I could have said how to create your um, ideal marketing funnel or marketing system. It's very broad, and so many people are out, out there doing that. So the, con- the conversions and opt-ins would have been a lot less, and it's hard to cover that big picture in, 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 in like 45 minutes to an hour. So I, I chose one segment of that which was was it was lead magnets got a higher opt-in rate uh, and 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 it's um, and it's specific so and 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 you'll be able to make an offer specific to that topic if 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 you choose to sell like, again I'm not there's nothing to buy what I'm doing here but um, but webinars are a cool thing it's not uh, and the cool thing is if you get a webinar that performs well and opt and it gets good opt-ins then you can take that and turn it into a free report now the free report will give you more opt-ins okay but then you have to have a, um, a system to, to try and sell from there okay uh, number th- uh, number eight is limited free trial um, to give people a bit of like a lick of the ice cream I suppose and, and give them a taste of what they're doing but try and make it limited I know the number of free trials that I've opted in for um, and, and and like it could be like seven or fourteen days. If you're going to do it, try and make it seven or fourteen days. Thirty days, you know, you know, a lot of people. It's just too long a time. You re- really want to strike when the iron's hot. But with with giving them limited access, right? I've opted into something before for um, a limited free trial. But when I got in there, I realised that a lot of the main parts I, I wasn't able to access because I wasn't a paid member. So my limited free trial, my fourteen day trial, lasted about. Um, 20 minutes and I said god I need all that so I just went and, <laughs> went and bought it so think about that so number uh, number seven is you give away your best tip all right now a lot of people are a bit hesitant to that because they think oh well I can't give away my best tip because then then what is else is there to sell right you've got to understand the psychology here. give away your best tip because number one you get the most opt-ins the bigger list you have the, the, you know that's that's like an asset so 
um, and also they, the, the psychology behind that, they think, wow, if they're giving away that for free, then imagine what they're going to do when I pay money, right? So given what, giving away your best tip is going to be great for opt-ins and it, um, and it really uh, kind of separates you from the rest, okay? So, and that's, that's a, a big thing that I want you to think about, giving away your best tip. Next thing is um, splinter your main offer. Um, I've done this myself. I've um, a copywriting software called Copy Sniper, um, and in, a, in where we just do we have an automated system that that generates long form sales letters. We kind of splintered that off and gave away the the headline part, so you can actually punch out automated headlines with this software. We gave that away for free, uh, and that was we got about an eighty one percent opt in rate for that. Eighty one percent, like that's insane. So think about that, and and again. Ryan and Perry teach this um, in, in their, their methods as well. I think it's a, a brilliant strategy. If there's anything you can do to, to splinter off your main product, again, pick something the best that's going to give you the biggest, the biggest win, the biggest and fastest win straight away um, is, is, a, is a great strategy. Number five, cheat sheets, flow charts, checklists, and mind maps. This is huge, right? Um, again, this really ties into the 60-second offer. If you can, if you can condense some information and give it to them in a, in a cheat sheet, flowchart, a checklist, or a mind map, uh, people love that stuff, right? Again, it's it's a lot better than a 180-page free report. Um, so that that works very, very well, and I see a lot of markets doing that with with great success. Uh, and if you you don't know what you could do, think about that. If you if you're if you're like a business coach and and, and someone rings you up out of the blue and and says, "Hey, I'm, I'm interested to you know to find out a bit about what you do. Well, what questions would you ask them? You want to find out uh, how long they've been in business, what their business is about, um, their income, and and all that kind of stuff. So you, you have you probably go through a process already. Well, so take take that process and document it, and try and, and use that as a, as a lead magnet. Okay, so that that's um, really hot right now. So the next thing is um, a quiz or a test, right? People love being tested. They love being measured, and, and this is a little bit longer to set up, but not as, not as hard. I mean, you, there's things like Google Forms and and Gravi- Gravity Forms is some software you can you can check out to do that. But um, and a quiz or a test is great. And, and what I love about the quiz or test approach for your lead magnet is that you don't have to ask for the opt-in straight away. All the other opt-ins, you say, "Here's an offer." Send me, give me your email and name or maybe phone number and you, you can get it. But with a quiz or a test, you can say, hey, take this quiz. And before they know it, they're, they're answering these questions and they you know, they, they love getting measured. Um, and then right at the end, say, if you want your results, enter your details here. So it's very stealth, right? So that's a very, very powerful one. And, um, and a lot of people, industry leaders, are doing that with great success. Number three, give away your entire course. I first saw James Shremko do this. Um, James Shemko is a legendary internet marketer from down under. Uh, he, he, he was telling me when I was um, with him in Sydney um, a month or so ago, he said um, uh, he had a, had a course called Own the Race Course. I think he was selling it for a couple of grand. I hope that's right. Um, and then after a little while, he decided, because he talked about the life cycle of a product, he, he, then he, he put that, that, uh, that course as an inclusion to, into his ongoing membership, right? So that was... So that boosted a lot of membership sales because uh, that was included in there. Then after a little while, he just gave it away for free, the whole course for an opt-in. And he said that it was his best opt-in ever, right? So what could you give away for free? I mean, you can, you can give away like a four-part video course where, the, where there's a, a, a specific result at the end of it. Again, it, it's, it's kind of like giving away your best tip but on steroids, isn't it? So that's a really cool thing. The other thing is um, swipe files or test results. I mean, yeah, any, anything you can do to save money and give people a shortcut is hugely valuable right now. Again, it, it really ties into the to the sixty second offer, or uh, just just make life easy for people. So, if again, if you if you can give them a swipe file or or an exact process that's going to help them go from A to B in, in a certain step. And give that away for free, then you get um, a lot of opt-ins, and it's a good setup to to offer them something else in the, in the whole in your offerings. So that that converts really really well if you can do that. The number one um, is the survey. Um, uh, I give give credit where credit due. The the world's best ex- leading expert on this is Ryan Levick, someone I, I pay money f- um, to learn from. Now he's he's got a thing called the survey funnel, and later on I'll probably bring him in 
to do a full webinar on that. But um, and whereas people, similar to the quiz or the test, they ask answer a few questions um, at the start, and and then right at the end you ask for their details. So very very stealth, right? But I want to tell you how I used survey, um, and also that another. I'll just quickly say another smart mechanism that that Ryan talks about is. When people answer these questions along the way and they choose their way, what they're doing is they're self-selecting themselves into a certain, into a bucket, I suppose, of, of their, of their uh, what database they're in. For instance, if you're a property investor, you're either going to be a beginner, intermediate, or an advanced, right? So wouldn't it be cool if you can talk, when you're having conversations with people, you need to know that up front. So that's a very smart thing that Ryan teaches. And, and even on a basic level, uh, having a basic survey to, to, without the segmentation is still smart because it has that stealth element where you can ask, get people to answer a few questions that are already engaged, mentally, emotionally, and physically engaged into, into a process, and then you ask for their details at the end. is a really cool thing. So I want to show you how I use surveys. I'm going to dig deep here um, and talk about how I use survey to actually find out what to sell. I mean, if you want to, if you want to have lead magnets, the biggest problem is you don't know what people want. So I'm going to give you, a, I'm going to dive deep into a process that I did. And, and see, when I, as a copywriter, people pay me, for me to take on a project personally, um, I mean, my starting price to take on a full marketing campaign is 25K and above. I have teams that do um, projects in all, all different areas. But um, the, the reason why I kind of, command such a high price or in what perceived high price in, in what a lot of people believe is is because I, I go to the extra extra mile and I, I do a lot of market research probably about 70 percent I do is actually in understanding what people want because because once you understand what people want then all you got to do is write the copy around it and it's, it's it makes the life a lot easier a lot of a lot of kind of b-grade copywriters or marketers they'll just have an idea then they'll write the copy and put it out into the markets, right? Or they might ask the business owner for what they think they should do. But I don't get my most of my knowledge from the business owner. I go direct to the client, okay? Because what worked, you know, 12 months, two years, three years ago, necessarily doesn't work right now. So you've got to be up to date with that. So that's why survey, surveys come, um, come in hand. So first of all, um, what I do is send out, this, this is what I did to my, my list. I sent out an email. It was a um, simple trick to beat overwhelm in 25 seconds. So the reason why I had a big hunch that through my coaching clients that the biggest obstacle was overwhelm. So I'll just read this quick email to you that what I did. And none of us like overwhelm, especially with our marketing. Among the flurry of daily thoughts, there's usually one, yes, one dominant burning problem we want solved over everything else. Answering this one simple question is the first step to getting your problem solved quickly. I want you to hit this link and answer this one question now, right now because it will help you. Another reason I'm asking you to do this is I'm putting together some brand new training and I want to make sure I give you exactly what you need, laser focus, all killer, no filler. As a reward for answering this one question, I've organized you a whopping 50% discount off my new training when it comes out. Um, sorry, where's it? When it comes out. Sorry, you can thank me later. Come on, it'll take only 30 seconds. Go here now uh, to get your most burning question answered and put an end to your mark, to your overwhelm. See you over there. Think Brett big, big Thompson. So, um, so you got to understand the psychology I've done here is of you know if you just expect people to fill out a survey you are kidding yourself even your family and friends or they might have good intentions they'll probably do it later you've got to incentivize people now you can offer them a twenty five dollar gift voucher or something like that but what we've found is um, giving them a, a a discount off off your training is the smartest thing to do because it kind of preempts them and it's not such a big shock when you offer them something okay so. I got a bunch of people to um, fill that out, send, send them to this simple page. Now, um, you don't have to set up a page, a website like this. It was just a simple page. So what's your number one single biggest ops challenge or obstacle you have with your marketing right now? Please give as much detail as possible. Enter your name below to receive a whopping 50% discount off my new training name and email. Okay, so that's, uh, again, I'll, I just quickly, quickly whip that online. If you don't, if, uh, even a faster way, you can just say hit reply now to this email, and you've got a little bit manual work, so you've got to sift through everyone's responses. But at least it, you get um, it speeds things up. If you can go, you can get the, the email out straight away and have answers that night. The next, the next thing I sent up a reminder email, which was um, survey results update. What an eye opener! First up, a, a quick thanks to everyone for answering this single question survey. I've been gathering everyone's answers into a spreadsheet and categorizing them into topics. So far, there are five common groups that are 
people um sorry that people are wanting help with in no particular order finding your audience blah 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 so um one of these five groups uh, completely trump the rest multiple times we'll have a guess um want to guess which one hit reply and have a guess if you want either way i'll leave mail you tomorrow um Plus, I'm going to attempt one of the. Um, sorry. Plus, I'm going to attempt to answer all these problems, mainly focused on the big one, in one session. Um, it'll be very cool. Now, underneath you can't see that anymore. There's another um, call to action button there. So that's just giving people a second chance to to uh, to answer because you want to get as much information as possible. Because what you do with that is then you start putting it into. Um, like you, you segment it. There's going to be like let's say you get. Uh, 50 or, or 100 answers but what you're going to find you're going to get commonalities right and it can be four or five six different groups so here's the, the common ones that I had right and uh, th these are actual responses I got from people word for word getting new customers on a spot so what their number and I'll just go back here you how you can use this is take out marketing and put your own business what's the number one single challenge or obstacles you have right now with um, with your relationship or with property investing or um, with your uh, gardening or whatever whatever your niche is okay so here's the answers I've got now this is very clever what I'm about to show you so number one was getting new customers on a small budget not attracting the leads I once got deciding which prospects which project to focus on my marketing efforts and so on and so forth so again this is all questions and the wording that people use right now I'm going to show you um, Brett the Magnificent Copywriter, right? I say that tongue in cheek because I show it's not hard. This is how you best sell um, people into, into your products using the, you use the terminology that they, they have and, and they, they use, okay? Don't try and be too clever. I'll give you an example. So the, f the first, this, again, this one here you're seeing um, this bullet point that says getting new customers on a small budget, okay? So what I was doing, I was um, pointing people to a, a, a webinar. So here's how I came up with the bullet points to promote the webinar. Getting new customers on a small budget, um, I knew the answers for that. So the bullet point I used was how to get new customers on a shoestring budget, okay? So if you were the one that used that as your question and then and I was putting on a webinar on how to get new customers on a shoestring budget, then Absolutely, you'd opt in. You would be. You, with, it's, a, it's just a foregone conclusion. It would be no a no brainer. You could actually use that as a lead magnet headline, just for a little report. Next thing was um, a number of people said they're not attracting the leads I once got. Someone said I'm not attracting the leads I once got. So I said, why you're not attracting the leads you once got? Okay. Again, if someone read that, uh, that person read that bullet point, they will opt in. Right, no, no doubt about it. Next thing they said is deciding which project to focus my marketing efforts on first. So my magnificent copywriting skills said easy marketing clarity on um, knowing what project to focus on first. Again, instantly solves that problem. Next one was not knowing which marketing channel is best to get more clients. Quick marketing breakthroughs if you have little. At okay, I I put the wrong one in there. So <laughs> huge apology. Not knowing here it is. Not knowing which marketing channel is the best to get more clients, knowing which marketing channel is the best for you to get more clients. So you're not too creative. I don't need. To, I use their words back to them, right? Yeah, a lot of a lot of people overthink the copyright and they try and come up with all these fancy terms and, and all that kind of stuff. Look, I understand that and and, and I fall victim to that as well. But uh, you've got to write as your market speaks. Okay, that's for your best conversion. You don't want to try and use all big words because most people hate reading. So just you try and simplify it, simplify it as best you can. Another one was my website isn't converting well and the traffic costs are too high. So I said um, two best ways to boost website conversions and save traffic costs. Again, that alone, well, I used that as a lead magnet and got opt-ins for it because it solved a specific problem for a big group of people. Uh, feeling overwhelmed with all the different marketing methods. How to eliminate overwhelm from the different marketing methods. Again, so not rocket science, hey, you know, so it, you can do that and it really gives you clarity on, on how, to, um, how to find out exactly what your market wants and the right, the words to use to them to get them to opt in for, um, you can uh, opt in and also to, um, to create a webinar or, or product. These could all be product titles or report titles, whatever the case. Okay, quick insights and takeaways. Knowing what your market, um, know what your marketing, oh, sorry, market wants. It's, it's funny, you know, 
yeah, you know, even though I'm, I get paid for a lot of copy um, to for write great copy, but I'm, spelling isn't fantastic. So we're all human. Um, what are they already paying for? Think about that. What are they already paying for? Right. So when you, if that's a great way you can create disrupt in your market. Go go to market with something for free that people are already paying for, and you get a lot of opt ins. And again, your your list is your asset. So. Um, observe your own buying habits. Um, with this is really cool. So if I'm if I'm on quickly jump over to Facebook for instance, and all of a sudden something catches my eye, and I oh, and I click through that, and uh, and and there's a headline that said I really need to know that, so I'll opt in, and the next thing I do, I'm, I've, I've bought something. I go, I pause. I say, why did I do that? What was it that made me opt in? I look at the headline. I say, what was it? What piece of psychology made me actually opt in? Because people are um, very hesitant to. They don't willy-nilly just give you the opt-in you know um it, it, it i guess what i'm trying to say is it doesn't it doesn't it's a lot harder to get people to do that so if you find yourself opting in for something ask yourself why what, what's the psychology and and bring that in and copy that into your own marketing also look at why other people buy like people um in in, in your family or, or friends or or if you're at a seminar or whatever, just just observe your own buying habits and other people's buying habits because there's those little psycho- psychological triggers can really help you to, to craft your message. Um, copy is king. At you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the sad thing is that someone with a far less superior product than you will outsell you tenfold if their copy is better. Right? That's why you know um, the most the most expensive mistake you can make is to hire a cheap copywriter because they're leaving so much money on the table for you. So copy is king. So make it clear. A confused mind doesn't buy. You might want to write that down. A confused mind uh, doesn't buy. So you want to make it crystal clear. Um, The the marketing that I did for some of the big companies where I I made them tens of millions of dollars, I, I got my this 12 or 13 year old um, or twin boys to read the copy back to me and if they fumble upon any part of it I'll stop them put a red pen over it and go down and simplify it because the comprehension rate of most um, Westerners, uh, Westerners uh, is equivalent to a grade 8 student right or a um, 12 to 13 year old so you want to try and simplify it dumb it down as much as you can uh, and also make it enticing and I gave you some tricks on how to make it enticing find out what they want first um, also create space to think. A lot of people are so busy. You have a, a to-do list that just seems to grow every day. And I, I, one thing that I put on my to-do list every single day, bar none, is space to think. You know, Isaac Newton was the, the world famous, one of the world famous scientists. He was in Cambridge University. That was shut down for um, nearly two years because of the plague back in the 17th century, I believe it was. And at that time, he had nowhere to learn, so he had to stay. You know, look up. He, he kind of took refuge at home and in the library, and, and to try and think. And in that time, he created some of the world's greatest marketing. Oh, sorry, greatest scientific breakthroughs. Why? Because he stopped learning and started to think. So it creates space to think, and that's why the the, the events that Lanika and I run, it, we we it's an implementation workshop. It's not myself and Lanika just standing at the stage, just teach, 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 to take notes, and expect you to go and, you know fit that into your life later on we say right here's a bit of teaching here's some concepts now here's some space write down how you're going to do that and then create your plan and all that kind of stuff so space to think and implement it is, is absolutely key um, five favorite online tools i'm not going to do any demos here but mind mapping software um, well i'll say five favorite online tools but me personally I st- i'm still a, a notepad and pen guy i can't i just i think nothing beats for me nothing beats um getting my ideas and scribbling them down and, and it really, really flows for me. And, and because I'm in, the, in front of the laptop all the time or on my computer, I really need that break away from the computer. So a notepad and pen is, is great to jot that ideas down. Uh, but when, once I've got a bit of a, a skeleton, then I'll go to a mind mapping software. The one I use is called MindNode Pro. It's actually the one I've got. Uh, but there's a bunch out there and they're all cool. But it's just, it, it's just a cool way to kind of extract your ideas and 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 get them out super fast i really enjoy the mind mapping process another one is evernote if i'm if i'm say on facebook and i see a facebook ad that i like evernote is like a, a note taking piece of free software um and you can collect you can run your to-do list from it you can uh if you can you know um 
attached documents or uh, it's just a, it's just a, a housing. It, it, look, I, I guess Evernote for me, it's it's just the ultimate note note taking um, software. So I can just if I get ideas, I can just open up a page and I can put it into a certain folder. I've got all these different folders and and I can tag them so I can quick quick easy reference to search. But what I love most about it again, if I am on Facebook or or uh, LinkedIn, I, I see an ad that really captures my attention. And this is an example of pausing when you're when looking at your buying habits. If I've bought something or if I've opted in something, I'll take a screenshot and it'll instantly put it into into Evernote, and I can put it into a folder just instantly from the page. Um, so then, when I if I and I've I've got folders on opt-ins, upsells, um, checkout pages, um, and just and then things like that. So uh, Evernote's um, a fantastic thing to help you with um, with all your marketing. Uh, Jing or Snagit, Jing, that's a great screen capture um, software. So it captures the video of, uh, or you can do images or video. But sometimes when I'm, um, uh, again, if I'm working with a designer or if uh, yeah, a designer or a web developer, uh, and I want to give them instructions on how to get my lead magnet out there or the page or whatever, um, Jing is, is is free. You can do up to five minutes of free video. And then um, on of your screen and your voice, and you can send them the link straight away. But if you want longer than five minutes, which I always do, because I do a lot of um, website critiques, with I use Snagit, and I can't remember how much it is. It's bugger all, really, not much money at all. But you can do um, as long as videos as you want. But that's a really cool tool to capture things, um, and and I give direction to my team through that. Um, Canva is is fantastic if you want to. I mean, if you really want to create your own banners uh, and and get something up nice and fast, if you don't want to wait for a designer, sometimes you've got to wait 24, 48, or three days to get something. Um, and look, speed to market is is, is something that our, my team and I live by. So so a lot of the times I'll just come up with a concept and a headline. I'll go to Canva, and Canva is fantastic because it'll, you'll you're, you're able it gives you all these different templates of, of uh, banners and designs and reports and all those kind of things and you can just um, import your own image and and have a lot of pl- a big, good play around on that so check check out canva that's that's um that's one of my f- favorite online tools and it, it really ties into the speed of implementation thing i'm talking about lead pages is just one of many that that, that can get you you can get um cool nicely designed um, lead magnet pages up in an instance like just in a matter of minutes you don't have to be a techie because they've got templates you can choose from there's other things I use like there's click funnels or 10 minute funnels uh, and where I can actually build out complete funnels and they've got pages um, already mapped out so they're, they're, they're the five best tools that I use online just for lead magnets and speed of implementation okay so your next best step is is by far um, like I said I mean out of all the steps it's not just your lead magnet. I mean, you can you, if you take the information I gave you today and put it into action, you, you can definitely get some high converting lead magnets happening. Happening, but if you don't have a, a, an automated system that turns them into and make money from, then it can be you know you, you don't want to wait too long to get paid. All right, so that's why um, at at our events we we run through the whole system. We go to the tripwire or one time offer or a welcome mat. Um, then um, your, your main offer, then your, your up your, your big ticket item, and thank you page. We have uh, we teach people how to write um, nurturing emails and how to um, upsell them from emails, and, and also build a relationship in their list and all that cool stuff. So that's that's you've just seen step one, but there is a bigger picture to all this. So your next next step is implementation. Like you can go and do it yourself, right? Um, the, the doing it yourself is the hard way because you've got to try and fit it into life, and and also. You generally don't have a lot of people to, to, to get advice from it and, and a lot of people fumble and get stuck because they don't have, uh, they're not in an environment to get instant feedback, okay? So the best way is live groups in, in a live seminar. I mean, and when Lanika and I put our, our, our event together, we thought, what would we love to go to? What's the best, the best thing that would we, we'd personally love to do? And we wanted to, and we just love the concept of implementation workshops where you have to, you have to work, you've got a deadline, you've got to fit it off straight away, and you're surrounded by a group of people, like-minded people and guidance from a mentor. Um, we did this first um, called the Seven Hour Sales Letter with Andrew and Daryl Grant. Where we, we got a, a group of a hundred people come in with a blank screen, 
and uh, over two days I ran them through a process so they all walked out with a long form sales that are written from scratch okay uh, and it, it was hugely successful it sold out for the five years in a row uh, and we took that concept and, and, and turned it into like a marketing funnel implementation workshop so look I'd love you to be a part of it um, this is some snapshots from the last time we did uh, we went around um, Brisbane Sydney Melbourne at this particular time of, of the recording, we're going to be in February. We've turned it into a three-day workshop. So you walk out with your complete marketing funnel plan um, mapped out so you, you know exactly what to do and you can implement it straight, straight away. So uh, we'll give you time, time to have feedback from everyone. We're going to be doing um, hot seats. If you go to the page marketingmakeoverhq.com forward slash events, you'll see a page like that. You scroll down. Um, and, and grab your tickets. So February 13th, 14th, 15th uh, on the Gold Coast 2015. Um, and and it's this again, the, the, the main benefits are it's forced implementation. Right? Uh, for me, I absolutely need that and, and a lot of people feel the same way. It's not just a seminar where you get stand up and you got to, where the speaker stands up and teaches, throws all this information at you, you just got to, you leave with notes to try and fit in later. This is actually, you do it on the spot, right? It's, giving, it's going to give you an opportunity to give you uh, updated, modernized marketing. Again, what worked six months, 12 months ago, it, marketing is evolving so fast right now. So that's the, the key thing is to, um, is to get them modernized and updated. Um, clarity and confidence. And that's, that's the big promise, to be honest with you. When you come to our three-day events, you'll get absolute marketing clarity. You know exactly what to do next. Right? You don't have to be a great copywriter. You don't have to be a web designer or... Um, a, a developer or have a team you just I mean even at yourself all you really know, need to know is what to do next and we want to give you clarity of what to do next and give you the confidence to do it right and we, uh, we've got a workbook you'll be filling out with examples and it's, it's really really cool um, and the, the ultimate big picture is to build your list on, on autopilot um, we're going to be doing hot seats networking and give you clear direction um, so you could be pulled up from stage if you want to and I'll ask you questions all about your business, and uh, give you some. You get my my marketing brain on your business, you know. For um, so that's 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 the uh, the best advice I can give you right now is you've got the information, which is fantastic. Now put yourself in an environment where you can actually implement it and get it to market super quick, all right? Uh, with the ultimate objective, of course, is to help you get a pipeline income while you sleep, right? So look. That's it, that's a wrap. I know it's very fast paced, not many breaks at all. Um, I don't think I had a breath the whole time. But if you want to go to Marketing Makeover HQ forward slash events, even if you're watching this video and um, the dates here have passed, then that link will still point you to the most recent uh, or the, well, the current um, event we've got on right now. Uh, and just, and we'll look, we'd, we'd love to be a part of it. It's very um, fun, energetic, um, informative, um, interactive, and uh, above all, you walk out with a, a fully planned out, mapped out marketing funnel ready to implement and um, start building the list and making your money. Okay, that's a wrap for me. Great to spend, spend that time with you and uh, look forward to hopefully meeting you in person at one of our events. And until then, we'll talk soon. Bye for now.